Digimon Seeker's intermission. Tokyo Cyber University Hospital, a patient who had been transported by ambulance from their home, was now lying on a bed in the intensive care unit. Their consciousness level was deep in a coma, and although their vital signs were decreased, they were within normal ranges. The patient's physical condition was perfectly healthy. They had been receiving counseling in the psychiatric department, which was not uncommon these days, and there were no signs of overdose. Eventually, they would likely be diagnosed with a vegetative state due to an unknown cause of brain damage. Unfortunately, it's become quite a situation, Ryosenji said as he gazed at his patient. A few hours ago, there had been a communication stating that the hacker Leon Alexander had gone lost beyond the L line while in a mind link. It was from the Cracker AG, who had also encountered a crisis while in a mind link in the digital world, but had survived. AG had known Leon, but was unaware of his home address. That's why he contacted Ryu Senji. Ryu Senji arranged for an ambulance and had the unconscious Leon, found in his home, transported to the Tokyo Cyber University Hospital. There was a key to the apartment. The apartment was registered under Ryu Senji's name, DMIA, Digital Missing in Action. By exceeding the duration of the mind link, the consciousness of the hacker, fused with the Digicore, couldn't return to the real world and became lost. Did you have any acquaintance with Leon Kuhn or Urin? The police were involved, so they couldn't keep this from Digipolice. Leon was a US citizen. His father was a scholar who knew about the existence of the digital world. It would likely cause significant issues. A tragic accident in the field of digital world research indeed. Very unfortunate. Rusenji attached the removed Digimon linker, placed by the bedside, to Leon's arm. You've learned too much lies, haven't you? Leon's heart weakly beat on the medical device's screen. After reporting Leon's DMIA to Professor Rusenji, I don't remember anything. Eiji was wrapped in a futon in his three tatami loft. Occasionally, he would shout incoherently as if in a fit, saying, win, win, win. I wished for it, and I failed. 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 Eiji evolved, and he failed. He became a perfect being, but that power betrayed him. The one he tried to use as a stepping stone in life, he ended up sacrificing himself to protect Eiji from the angel of death, a royal knight. Leon can't come back. Leon's consciousness crossed the boundary between the real world and the digital world. His abandoned body remains in a coma, still unconscious, never to recover. No matter how much Eiji regrets it, his voice won't reach him. This side and the other side. Either way, Leon Alexander is dead. He went beyond the wall. Kazuchimon and Pulsamon are gone, eternal wanderers. Even if Eiji helped him somehow escape from the royal knight, Leon's consciousness should have long fused with the digital core, according to Ryu Senji, and no one has naturally recovered consciousness from the DMIA state. Eiji abandoned Leon. Sharpened as a cracker, he evolved and gained new power, but no one could save him. I... I wanted Leon... He vomits, rushing to the toilet while holding his mouth, tumbling down the loft ladder. He clings to the uncleaned toilet and vomits. It's just stomach acid. There's nothing left to throw up. Bitter. He has no energy to rinse his mouth. A.G., the Digimon Linker's stats are off the charts, Lugamon observes from the loft. This guy, surprisingly lively. Lugamon was fortunate not to suffer fatal damage to his digital core. The only damage was the shot fired by the Royal Knight. Ironically, it seems A.G.'s rampaging ultimate form protected him. No, it's useless, A.G. thinks. He needed to do something to make his mind go numb. A.G. reaches for the Digimon Linker's belt. Hey, don't take it off. I'm still here, you know. What's this about crackers, mind links, and evolution? What's... what's evolution? Did I make you go berserk, suffer, and blame everything on Leon? Was that what I wanted as a victory? A notification sound rings out. A short message appears on the Digimon Linker's screen. Marvelous. Cracker AG. You're the hero of SOC. It's a message from leader Tartaros. Those brief words of praise pierce his heart. He succeeded. He delivered retribution to Hacker Judge as Tartaros instructed. The method was left to AG. Hacker Judge will never interfere with SOC again. There shouldn't be any hackers trying to mess with SOC either. AG is now the hero of SOC. As per Ryu Senji's request, he joined the organization as a member and gained a position where he could access vital internal information, all for the sake of his battle with Leon, for revenge, to settle the score. Everything succeeded, and everything failed. Moreover, Eiji should have been the one with DMIA. 
At that time, Omegamon, the royal knight, relentlessly targeted Eiji's Helugarmon in berserk form. Eiji, why are you vomiting? Lugaman jumps down from the loft. It's because... Leon was my friend. We ended up in turmoil while still mind-linked with Kazuchimon. I don't know what happened. I don't think anyone knows. Eiji might be questioned by Digipolice about Leon's unconsciousness, but he won't be arrested. There are no laws in the digital world concerning disappearances or involvement with DMIA. Crackers like Eiji, no matter what they do in the digital world, are usually not held accountable. So, he can't blame anyone else. Guilt exists. All guilt must be borne by himself as a cracker, under the banner of freedom for the crack team. I remembered. Age's voice trembles. What did you remember? Lugaman sits down on the floor. We were like that too, Lugaman. Back when we were in elementary school, Leon and I went to the river. With our families, we had a BBQ by the riverbank. The ones grilling meat, speaking of which, I'm hungry. A.G. suddenly realizes he hasn't fed Lugamon. Our parents were preparing, so Leon and I were playing by the river. I must have gone pretty deep into the river. Leon told me it was dangerous. When we were ready and our parents called us back, my foot got caught. He was swept away. It must have been a matter of seconds. When he submerged his face in the water while drowning, he saw the riverbed. It was so clear, so deep, and so frightening. What happened? If you had died, you wouldn't be here, right? Leon. He was downstream, and he reached out to grab me. I happened to be carried to a spot where my feet could touch. I was lucky. It was really dangerous at that time, but we were both laughing. Our parents didn't even notice I got swept away. But he saw it on TV much later, a news report about an elementary school student who died in an accident in the same river. I thought the same thing might have happened to me. Leon had saved him. Again. Hey, A.G. What is it? He can't bear to look at himself right now. So he plunges his face back into the toilet. I open this. What's that? Oh, the one I got back then. Lugamon showed him a data box he received from Pulsemon at DDL's cafe. He had left it there, thinking it might contain hacker presents or viruses. It's food, look. Lugamon had processed it to look appetizing meat data. It's really just a present and a letter. What's Pulseman? Pulseman's whereabouts after being engulfed by the turmoil are unknown. Let's meet and talk again. Um, that means Pulseman and Lugamon might really... Hey, A.G., what is it? Why do you think I went berserk and evolved into Helgermon? I think I might have an idea. Will you listen? Huh? A.G. looks at Lugamon. I wanted to meet Pulseman again and fight him because I didn't want to be looked down upon, to fight, to win, or maybe I lost, but to fight, and after that, we would have laughed and shared a meal together. Lugamon chews on the meat. Munch, munch. In other words, I think I might have wanted to become stronger by fighting. It's like, when you fight a strong opponent, you become stronger. I wanted to fight Pulsemon more and talk more with him. Wait, that means he felt the same way? After we fought, we wanted to laugh and share a meal. A.G. called out his partner's name, but he couldn't pronounce it properly because he was crying. Royal Knight Bastard Omegamon, even if we end up fighting him, friends are on hard mode, you know. End of intermission.